Is it possible that Abraham Lincoln employs more people today than he did while working at the White House? I'm Nicholas Nielsen, and you're listening to Lincoln in My Living Room. Okay, I'm going to ask you some trivia questions about Abraham Lincoln. Let's see how you do. Ready? How many children did Abraham Lincoln have? What was Abraham Lincoln's wife's name? What number of president was Abraham Lincoln? How tall was Mr. Lincoln? What is his middle name? If I were to ask you to think of the most influential person in history, who would it be? Okay, well, with the title of this podcast, I've already primed you to think about Abraham Lincoln, but do you believe it? Here in Springfield, Illinois, we definitely believe it. Springfield is the place where Lincoln got married, started a family, his law practice, and his political career, and the city will not let you forget it. Springfield is home to the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, Lincoln Home National Historic Site, Lincoln Herndon Law Offices State Historic Site, the Old State Capitol, where Lincoln delivered his famous House Divided speech, and the Lincoln Tomb. But Springfield isn't the only one with Lincoln fever. According to the Illinois Secretary of State Office, there are over 5,000 businesses listed with the word Lincoln in the title. 5,000. So why do we name our businesses, luxury cars, and babies after this man? What is it about him that makes him such a supreme being? Okay, abolishing slavery was kind of a big deal, but there seems to be something about him as a person that we aspire to. Think about those trivia questions that I asked you at the beginning. Did you know any of the answers? What if I asked you the same questions about George Washington? Could you answer them about our current president? There is something about Abraham Lincoln that endures. In this podcast, we will get to really know the person behind the top hat and whiskers. What hobbies did Abraham Lincoln have? What was his favorite food? What is it about him that inspires us? And what would he think about us today? I'm Nicholas Nielsen, and this is Lincoln in my living room. Oh, and by the way, Abraham Lincoln doesn't have a middle name. <laughs>